Welcome to the five minutes or less overview of the take home exam for marketing for financial services. This is your first assessment task and it will occur after session two. So you have the concepts and frameworks and the product development sections of the course that will be assessed in the exam. Now your terms and conditions it will be a week five event. It's due Monday week five, so it takes place over the weekend following week four. It is a take home exam, so you can think of it as a limited number of hours essay. It is worth 30%. It will be individual and it covers the first two learning outcomes. So, to give you an idea of what to expect, I'm going to go through the details of the exam in terms of its technicality and a bit of a content overview. So in terms of the details, it is an individual assessment piece. Uh, you will need to produce an assignment that is a piece of work unique to you. We will be using Turnitin. So if you have a high text match in the body of your assignments such exam answers, you will not have been doing the job very well. So originality, novelty, use of references, those are things that will be positively and possibly copiously rewarded. In terms of the timeline, it will release on the Friday the, of week four, Turnitin will automate the whole process at five minutes past nine on the Monday, Turnitin will seal off the exam. So there is a hard deadline, don't miss it. That was just the advice of the day, don't miss the deadline. The assignment will be marked, the assessment will be back to you at some point during week six. So what this assessment task does, its purpose in the initial phase of semester is to give me a chance to review your progress, both in terms of content, but also to see that you're doing okay in terms of being able to write, to be able to answer questions, to be able to present your own work. and. This is ultimately its purpose. This is a benchmark testing mechanism that will let me know how well you're ready to take on the major individual essay. You should think of it as approximately a around 2,000 words in length. Uh, there are a number of exam questions. That number will be revealed to you when the exam opens. It is a limited time frame assignment, you can use external references, you can use draw on materials from the internet, from the library, from the textbooks, from the notes. You do not have to lock yourself away in isolation and try and answer and derive the answers from first principles. You may use support and resources. In terms of the content areas, I'm looking here to see how well you can address the concepts of financial services marketing, what it is to do financial services marketing, and some of the key ideas around what a how a marketer, what a marketer does and how a marketer uh, acts when they're dealing with financial services marketing products. And that basically is the first two units, the first two sections of the course. I'm not going to go into much more detail because you are going to get to see the questions and you are going to get to do your own interpretation and review and use the external information that is the internet. Briefly, in terms of uh, the requirements, a high distinction or above is going to require four consistently good answers. You cannot do three great, one bad, and get out of anywhere other than distinction. Credits are most likely to have either one really great answer and three very ordinary supporting cast members, or it will just be you did okay across the board. 
A pass grade means that you got through the assessment task, uh, both of us are glad that it's over, and a fail. You can set out to fail this assessment task if you so desire, and you would do that either by non-contest, by skipping the task, or by cheating. Cheating will be considered if there is a very high level of text matching in the body of your text, you have plagiarised, cheated, and you're in trouble. And that's pretty much the only way you could cheat on the exam, so it'd be a dumb thing to do, because I will catch you, because I have turned it in, and you'd be an idiot to sacrifice your grades that way. Don't cheat. If you want to do well, what I suggest that you do is that you demonstrate that you can interpret the question, that you can present an argument and an answer, and that you do so in a way that showcases your knowledge of financial services marketing, an ability to answer the question that's asked, not the question you wish that was asked, and to use external resources. You have effectively an open book exam featuring the internet, so if I don't see references, external support, and those materials can come from anywhere. They can be from Wikipedia, blogs, web pages, journal articles, books. You could probably even throw in a link to a YouTube video if you could figure out how to reference it properly in the footnotes. However you choose to do it, it is open, it is seen, and you do have the internet, so I will appreciate a sense that you have taken the question and done some research to give me the answer. That will give you a high level of success and a high percentage chance of pursuing the top tier. If you just want to answer the questions off your own interpretation, your own opinion, and put little to no effort in finding supporting sources, you'll survive okay. It'll be somewhere between pass and credit, but you won't succeed. You will do enough to get over the line, but you won't be succeeding towards the top of the pack. It's your call, it's up to you, it's always your assessment task. So finally, if you do have, over the weekend of the exam, I will not be fielding questions about the exam. It is up to you to solve that problem. But prior to the exam, I'm quite happy to hear uh, your concerns, send me emails, catch me across Twitter, or come see me in one of the meetings. But over the course of the exam period, I'm not going to give you an interpretation and an answer because that would be unfair if you were to get a direct intervention from me. I'd have to do that intervention for everyone, and that's complicated. So, if you need me before then, contact me.